Give All me right. fuel, give me fire, giving us reloading, review, re reviewing, reload. Fail. Yeah. All right, you're still with us, so you obviously must really you have nothing better to do. You love me. Yeah, you must love J Map. And my music, check me out. <laughs> So a lot, I know a lot of people were disappointed in load. I mean, and then, but a lot of, but a, and then with reload, it was actually a lot of the songs that they were gonna make load a double album, and then they realized, you know what, these songs are these these thirteen other songs are not really done yet, so we'll we'll finish them later. So that's why reload came out a year right after load. And but it seems like a lot. It seems with reload though, a lot more of the memorable songs from that era are on this album than on Load, which is kind of weird because those were supposed to be the worser songs off Load. Agreed. I mean, the first song, Fuel, is a is a good speed metal song, and that's oh, actually a cool. and that's actually a mainstay song with for Metallica's career throughout their whole, throughout. I mean, it's a great live opener. It's a you know, it's a song that's uh, it is overplayed a lot on the radio, but hey, Fuel, it's Fuel's pumping engines. Exactly, it, and it does pump the crowd up a lot. Um, it, it's just like, it's like, whoa, a song on Reload that's as fast as anything Metallica's ever done before? Whoa, let me listen to more. Um, and then the next one, another another single that's played a lot, but I personally really like is Memory Remains. Um, and th this, is a song, this is also a live one that actually gets the crowd chanting a lot. You know, during the middle sections, when it, you know, when you listen to it on the studio with Marianne Faithful, we're like, uh, shut up. <laughs> Are, am I right? I remember, like, the first time you gave me a mix CD of Metallica that was on it. Mm -hmm. That was a jam. Mm -hmm. Definitely a jam. And it's a reload. Uh, Memory Remains is another one from the symphony that I really like. And then the next one, Devil's Dance. Devil's Dance. Um, I love the very first opening of it, and then it kind of goes a little bland for a second, um, in my opinion. But I still, but then I listen to it again, and I realize, oh, it's actually a heavy song, uh, in my opinion, and it's not, a, and it's not a bad one. So I'm glad they kind of resurfaced it in the set list again. And then the next one, an, a sequel to Unforgiven called Unforgiven Two. I love this song. I love it's it too. So good. I actually dare say I like it more than Unforgiven One. Agreed. Yep. Agreed. You're, if you disagree, you're not a person. <laughs> Lyric-wise, it's actually a lot more deeper than Unforgiven One. And it's like, it, I know it continues the story for somewhat. And it's, you know, you can also dedicate it as a love song to someone if you wanted to for for that reason. But I, so it's like, it has never really been played live. And it's never really gotten the recognition it deserves because everybody's like, "Oh, it's it's another Unforgiven. Fuck that. Take it away. Take it away." But it's uh, Unforgiven Two is one of the most underrated Metallica songs. Period. And I wish a lot of people would get more True. recognition to it. But but you know what's better? What than Unforgiven Two? What better than you? Just kidding. It's not as good. <laughs> no, it's not. Better than you is probably a filler track on the album. Um, initially I liked it when I first got the Reload CD, uh, and then it just kind of went downhill from there. It's like, uh, alright, nothing, nothing much to hear from it. And then Slither. Oh god. Every time. Slither. When my, when my iPod is on shuffle and I hear, dun dun dun, and then Jay's like, I don't even know what he's saying, but the first little guitar riff it just sig signals me like I now uh, I hate this song so much Slither I agree it's another filler song on the album I don't even know why it, sure maybe they liked maybe they thought it was good at the time it was written but Slither <laughs> that's really all we gotta say about it but Carpe Diem Baby is actually a very good song I think um has a you know has a good breakdown in the in the middle, um, and I was you know and I heard that they played it live um, in, at the 30th anniversary Fillmore show. I was like, oh, that's cool. So that that song got a little recognition, um, and then the next song on that is Bad C. Are you are you are you, are you are you are you doing the beginning? <laughs> I can't do that. <clears throat> yeah, but that's all I remember. From that song. I like Bad Seed for the double bass portions in it. As a, you know, it's one of the heavier songs on the album, uh, but other than that, it really doesn't do much. But what about, you know? Do you like Bad Seed? I'm not. Or are you just choking? I'm not gonna lie. I don't really remember Bad Seed enough to have form an opinion. Mm -hmm. But 
then again, Load and Reload are the two al- the two like metallic albums that are a little lesser known for me. Mm-hmm. But Where the Wild Things Are is where it's at. I freaking love Where the Wild Things Are. Oh, so good. <laughs> I don't like Where the Wild Things Are as much. It is a good song, but I think it kind of loses me after a while. Oh. And a, no disrespect to Newstead, I think he is a great songwriter. But you know, it's like I thought I like how kind of I like how kind of mysterious and heavy it is. Um, and that really not, nothing much else to say about it. Prince Charming, I think that one actually surprised a lot of people because it's like, what? Another speed metal song on this record? What the fuck? This is supposed to be the bluesy album. But Prince Charming is another great. Prince Charming's a jam. Yeah, it's another good. It's another good fast jam that. You know, I, they haven't really. Pl- I've never heard them play it live, or I don't think they had played it live ever. But it, you know, it has riff. It has riffs on there that kind of remind me of Master of Puppets. So it's just like, you know, they have like remnants of their old thrashy days on on Reload, but you know, it's not it's not the mainstay of it. But then the next one, Low Man's Lyric. Okay, I'm gonna ask what you think of it first. If you don't know. Way to put me on the spot. I like Low Man's Lyric. Um, I initially I did... I heard it, I remember. Do, 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 do. No? You're so on pitch, it's, it's hard not to remember. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, like, it's another one of the country oh, songs. Oh, I do remember that, actually, yeah. Okay. It's a longer country song that they did. Um, and they, and, and I, I like it. It's, you know, it's kind of a song about... It's kind of a sad song about a homeless man and a dog. But uh, you know, I remember listening to it in the car on the way on the way home from like a from a long trip, and it's like, oh, this is actually really soothing. And then the hurdy gurdy at the end was just like, oh, I, this is really different. But you know what? I do like this song. Uh, so now that you now now that you have memories of it, what do you think of it? Okay, whatever. You know, he's not. I, I said that before. Fine. He's I have not... to restate my opinion. <laughs> Fine, I guess it's I'm not. not. A, it's your channel. That's your review. <laughs> Fine. I'm uh, just here to annoy you. Uh, I haven't really been doing that. <laughs> I could try harder. <laughs> and then attitude is a forgettable song. I think. I mean, I way to give it some attitude. That's my attitude about attitude. It's forgettable. It's his attitude about attitude. A- you know about what, the song attitude. You know what would fix his attitude? Some fixer. Agreed. <laughs> Fixer, on the other hand, it rivals Outlaw Torn as one of the big epic closers on, on the album. Um, I initially didn't like it until I heard I saw it on one of someone's top ten list, and it's like no, it you should re- be a kind of like a hidden favorite. Boys, oh. what up? There's the da- there's my dad. I need. I'm just. Uh, I just need me some wireless. I need you some wireless right now. <laughs> I'll be. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, but you know, Fixer is a good lyric song. It's like about vo- it's like about voodoo stuff and everything like that. Um, but but other you know other than that, so then we so now we've now we've gone load and reload and like everybody is just everybody you know I think when Ro- load and reload came out, um, people were just like, come on, Metallica, what is this, you guys? You know, cut your hair. You're drinking martinis instead of beer, and now you have songs that are kind of bluesy. You guys aren't metal. Well, what is more metal than going against the grind. And again, like I said on the load video, that's what they did. They You're not metal unless you conform to our idea of metal. Perfect statement right there. <laughs> per- very very perfect statement right there. I mean, I actually appreciate that Metallica made the load and reload albums. It's like oh if I ever do get the chance to meet the guys in a meet and greet one day. Um, I'll actually say, you know what, you know, you probably get a lot of hatred for Load and Reload, but I personally like those albums, and a lot of songs, like, a lot of songs on those albums have a lot of meaning to me, so thank you for making those albums. Um, I, you know, dare say I'll ask him to play Bleeding Me Live, even if it bores the crap out of half the audience, it's still an amazing song, and people just need to give Load and Reload a chance, that the chance that they deserve. I mean, if fine, if you really don't like soft, if you really don't like hard rock sound, and you're really just more into the double bass, you know, he, you know, blistering solo type of metal, great. That's you know, that's everybody. That's fine. But you know, don't get mad at us for actually liking the albums. Uh, I mean, but what else would you think? I've stated 
many opinions. Yeah, you have. I'm opinionated, opinionated out. Opinionated out. Mm -hmm. I don't know the term. Right. Okay. So. Just wait for Saint Anger. I'm gonna have so much to say. But before we do Saint Anger, we still got to touch up on what they did between now, between Reload and Saint Anger. Okay. 